Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim this mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. In memory of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, and all our bishops. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now let us all pray as Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the peace of the Lord.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we invited to communion with him. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. For those of you at home, join with me now in this prayer for peace by Pope Pius XII. Almighty and eternal God, may our grace enkindle in all of us a love for the many unfortunate people whom poverty and misery reduce to a condition of life unworthy of human beings. Arouse in the hearts of those who call you Father a hunger and thirst for justice and peace and for fraternal charity in deeds and in truth. Grant, O Lord, peace in our days, peace to souls, peace to families, peace to our country, and peace among nations. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may this Eucharist increase within us the healing power of your love. May it guide and direct our efforts to please you in all things. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God bless you and keep you. May God smile on you and be gracious to you. May God look on you with kindness and bring you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let us go from this celebration of Mass in the peace of Christ. Our thanks to three donors. The first is Mrs. Carol Niroda and family from Winnipeg, Manitoba. The second is Lorette Allen from Ottawa, Ontario. The third, an anonymous couple from London, Ontario. And it's their generous contributions that made the televising of today's Mass possible. On behalf of Father Bush, Father Coates, Father Fitzpatrick, Father Donovan, Father Lynch, and all of us here at Daily Mass, our best wishes for a restful weekend. We'll be looking for you all again come Monday.